she was a cover girl and her name was Desire and she could devour that lump of flesh from within your chest with a vicious bite I'm talking complete domination of the heart where she would leave no room for Allah and take most of the vacant space for herself but lately she's been struggling something has been changing because guys aren't looking at her the same way they used to Matter of fact, that man she had left her a week ago, they were at the neighborhood park at dark, standing together on the sidewalk when he told her, I can't do this anymore. We were born Muslims, if I die right now, what happens to my soul? And he turned and walked away, he left her there, to the relentless winds that nibbled at her exposed eyes because the shorts she had worn that night couldn't fit a girl who was five years old, it was cold. Left her own thoughts and memories, she begins to walk home, and flashes back to when she was 13. Two days after 9-11, the world came together and started dialing 911 emergency calls, calling out for help publicly, denouncing the religion, saying our Ummah at large is a threat to the world, and they pointed the finger at her, told her she doesn't belong here, that the scarf that drapes around her face is a symbol of the apocalypse, that it makes her a terrorist, she should go back to where the Arabs live, so is it to anyone's surprise that every day in grade 9, she would get a ride to school, leaving behind parents who were proud of her dedication to her faith. But upon getting to class, she'd take off the hijab and let her hair fall down her face. She didn't want to be an outcast. And this was just the beginning. Because at the age of 16, she started collecting glamour magazines. Wasn't sure who she was in regards to her identity, but it says here that maybe it's Maybelline. Dress her full of makeup and fake stuff. Her mom and dad loved her. They begged her to wake up. Remember who you are, darling. No matter what you've done, your identity is not lost to Allah, it's her back, but she ignored the call. Continued on her free fall into a deep desire and love for this all the world, which grabbed her by the throat, had her spiraling into emptiness and confusion. The voice in her brain begged her, please, make it stop, and she wanted to. But the evil forces had battled away all conviction of good, so her attitude was that of ingratitude, a once faithful hijabi, swallowed whole by this multitude of societal issues, and when she thought it couldn't get any worse, she met a boy. He was everything she ever wanted. He was perfect, flawless. She finally found something in this world that could fill the gaping void in her heart because as soon as Allah left, there was a hole in her chest and this kid was the answer. And so the dance began. She could have followed the hadith, but instead she followed him. She could have found solace in Allah, but she confided in Him. She could have gotten a hug from mom, but she found open arms in Him. She could have kissed the Quran, but she decided to kiss Him. She could have shown herself to none, but instead she showed herself to Him until it became a whirlwind of colors, breath, and skin, and a black hole opened up in her universe, and the deed was done. Even herself exposed like camera films in the sun, like the film they'd recorded of her and Him, there was no turning back. And that's when she snaps out of her sunken memory. Remembering who she was, but not sure how to make amends, she runs home to her bed. She feels so ashamed, she can't help it. She feels like she needs to cover herself up out of humbleness and shame of her bad deeds. Like when Adam and Eve covered themselves with leaves after eating those fruits off the forbidden tree, she pulls the blankets over her body and cries herself to sleep. Whispering with the last blotch of light left in her heart, please, Allah forgive me. Please, Allah forgive me. From there it was quite a long journey, asking forgiveness from her parents, going back to prayer. She lost all her friends, but their souls were transparent anyways, and she knew it. She needed structure, but it's hard to do, so every time she feels like going back, she remembers. She was a cover girl. Now she's a covered girl. And those clothes suit her well, and that hijab is her shell because she is its beautiful pearl, a covered girl. Her name is admired, and she fears Allah.